I feel like if you have a partner that's going to be like, you know, like that. They're like, yeah. fuck yeah, you let's know. do it. I'm dressing up like a like, pirate right now. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on my shoulder. Let's go. Oh my God. Welcome to the Beacon House Podcast, recorded live in Knoxville, Tennessee. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Amen. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Frying pan, stop laughing. I'm not trying to laugh. I didn't think you were going to open with that. Why not? King, to, King T'Challa, man. I, these oh. tears coming out of my eyes right now. Wait, are you laughing or crying? <laughs> Good job, Case. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, every now and then I got to have a more darker, funny beginning. And me saying rest in peace and frying pan laughing at it. It's pretty dark. <laughs> I'm oh. not trying to laugh. For I feel like, <laughs> look, we're all sad about it, but I feel like he really set you up for that. <laughs> I did. I did. He did set you up. Didn't. Do you see tears coming out of my eyes right now? No, I don't. I don't believe you actually cry. I think you, you say you do, but here, do you want, do you want I this? I want a tissue. <laughs> ah, there you go. I don't want Anyway, oh, welcome to the Beacon House podcast, everybody. Uh, now that we're off to a super weird and awkward <laughs> beginning, here, wipe your face. Wipe your face on that. It's not just get, I'm sorry. get that away from me. Okay, I feel like you really ruined my memorial memoriam here at the beginning. I'm sorry, I didn't yeah, it was so heartfelt. Uh, yeah. Thoughts and prayers, right? Yeah. Casey? Wow, <laughs> boy, you're in for it this episode. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. <laughs> so, well, once again, we are, um, uh, unfortunately, due to car car problems, we are missing our third uh, piece of the trifecta. Hunter Barnhart is not with us today, but we have not one, but two replacement guests. Casey, tell them who they are. It's Savannah and Frying Pan. Both of which you've heard on past mm-hmm. episodes. Say hi, you guys. Say, Hello. Like, hi. <laughs> now, you guys knew each other before this. Yeah, we met at Friendsgiving. Yes. Friendsgiving. Thanks, yes. the Beacon House Friendsgiving, which we talked Central about on, Depot. on yes. Savannah's episode recently. Uh, the episode entitled Casey Gets a Bible. Yeah, I did. I got a Bible. <laughs> yeah, and <clears throat> still not quite a how, how's, how's it been going? Have you found anything interesting in it you like? Uh, Savannah's only had to throw it at me like six times, so I, I think see. it's going good. That's, that sounds like Old Testament. Yeah. Um, She's okay. like, read it. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and then she rubs my nose in it, and I'm like, ooh, well, what is this? Revelations? I like this. <laughs> I didn't know there was dragons like in the like- Bible. <laughs> Ah, I, I thought it was metal as shit. Actually, I really liked it, and then it got scary. Like I read it, it and, scary like, real fast. It yeah, <laughs> I read it and I was like, "There's dragons in this." I didn't know that. Savannah's over there, like, Fuck, got him, <laughs> got him. Not read the other parts. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on the, the, go- the salvation parts. saving parts. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on the gospels. Okay, you are really. Yeah. What are the? What are you guys? You've said it like that. Every time now. And you like, said that like you... I told gospels. you it's going to read like sandpaper and I'm going to read it slow. Gospel. Wait, wait, wait. You gospels. said it like someone was oh, holding gospel. your not hand gospel. on a hot gospel. stove by. There's not, no. a, there's not a, another syllable. What's it's a gospel? gospel. Is, I think, this, is, is it, this part of the NLT version no, that I don't know about? No, I think it, gospel is a word. Gospel isn't a word. Is it not? Ooh, gossip man. is a word. Yeah. Gossip pull. Gossip not girl a word. is a show. <laughs> gossip girl is a XOXO. show. XOXO. You know what? I think gossip pull <laughs> is like a pool of gossips and they just talk uh, like amongst each other well, about each other. Definitely like not the Bible. Karens? What? Is this like a gaggle of Karens? No, I, I think that's. A gaggle. <laughs> I think that's called a dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's speaking of dumpster fire. So about this episode. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, how's it going, everybody? It's going good. Uh, let's talk to frying pan. Frying pan. It's been a minute since you've been on. It's been a, it's Thank been you for a while. rushing to our rescue today. We, we found out at the last minute at the 11th hour, as they say, when <laughs> seconds count, we found out that Hunter wasn't going to be with us today. And uh, thanks for coming by and, 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 hang on. and Savannah, thank you for also being yes. here to help us flesh out this episode. What are we going to talk about today? You guys, I want to a lot of shit going okay, on in hold the world. On a second. I want to <laughs> ask you something, Spencer, sir. Recently, me and Frying Pan, with the help of the lovely Jason Turner, had a conversation. I love Jason Turner. No, no, no. I did not have a whole steak in this conversation. No, it was great. You guys all ate a steak? So Frying frying Pan brought up a new meme that she saw on the internet and thought, you know what? I'm going to ask the two guys that I know that are the oldest people I probably know what they know about this meme. And so she asked me, she was like, do you guys know anything about this Heathers meme? And I was like, I know the movie Heathers, but I don't know anything about a Heathers meme. 
turns out it's based off the musical, I guess. Yeah, it's like, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not even going to try to explain it. But then it pushed us down into this rabbit hole where I was like, listen, frying pan, I'm still trying to figure out how to put music on my MySpace page. Don't ask me about new memes. <laughs> I don't know what new memes are. I know what old memes are. I know chocolate rain. I know that. That's a meme. <laughs> Taste on digs. Respect. Yeah. Don't ask me about new memes. And so then it went down this rabbit hole of us talking about like cassette tapes and VCRs and Fry- Jason wanted to know if Frying Pan knew what VCR stood for. <laughs> and all it led all the way up to, and I want to know if you know what this is, we started talking about the Fuzzy Channel. Do you remember the Fuzzy Channel no. when you were a kid? Thank you. What are you talking what, yeah. what is that? So basic cable back in the day, basic cable had all the channels, but some of the adult channels to keep people f- from – watching them without paying for it would make them fuzzy but at like midnight 1 a.m you could turn on the tv to the right channel and it would be fuzzy but every now and then you'd catch like a nipple here and there i don't i don't <laughs> remember that all like, right so he's aged earlier than that like he he didn't have he was out drinking when that no 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 i wasn't that that would have been like the 80s no it was it was like 90s like it's in the late 90s it had to have been the late 90s because i was a teenager by then i think in the late 90s i was definitely not looking at scrambled television signals to try and see. <laughs> I was, because I was 11 years old, and I was like, oh, boobs. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, I was actually dating real yes, human beings. Like, <laughs> he was uh, looking at the real thing. Yeah. So, I mean, sometimes. Not, I'm not saying to great effect, but, but I was definitely, if it was late so what 90s. what was the I, equivalent of you, like, when you were, like, 11, 12, 13, hitting that age, what was your, like, did you, like, go find your dad's stash or something? Like, or no. were you really just laying pipe at that age? Like, what like, did no you problem? do to see some Jeez. nip? I definitely was not laying pipe at, <laughs> at any age. But um, what, could you rephrase your are you, are you asking, like, my introduction? I don't even know. What are some of the things that you've done in your life? There was no internet. What was, like, your desperate situations to see some, some nudity? Yeah. See some nip? Like dial up internet was the worst because it would just like etch down and it would like write the lines in front of you. Yeah. And then your mom would walk in right when it was like the and you're like, no, it's a swimsuit picture, and you have to like try to close out, but the internet was like, No, we're in this we're now. We're loading now. I, I man, honestly, I don't really have a good answer for this because I really didn't have that. No. I I didn't I was never into porn. Now my fr- some of my friends would steal like Playboy and penthouse like magazines, nudie mags. mags from their parents, and they would like bring them over, and everybody and they acted like it was this big deal. And I didn't really see the appeal in it, honestly. Yeah. And I know that's not exciting, and everybody thinks anytime a guy goes, "Man, I don't really dig porn," they go, "He's lying." But I really don't. It's just yeah. not my thing. But but when I was that age, my hormones were going crazy, and I was starting to get like all these feelings for girls, and like that girl in your class that you really like and stuff. Like I was just very much into like just going and talking to them, mm. and like writing them notes and letters, <clears throat> and trying to hang out with them after school, and like just you know you know what I mean. Like yeah. like I, I wasn't sort of I don't know. I didn't have the same rights. Like, so I'm gonna, all I'm here. I'm going to watch the creepy <laughs> late night cable and hope to see a nipple. You're like, I knew what a nipple. <laughs> Well, I mean, I knew what you sound really weird. No, it doesn't. I was 12 years old, and the fact that me and Jason both were like Fuzzy Channel, no, I know for a fact that several people listening are like Fuzzy Channel. Definitely know. What now, the fuzzy I do channel remember is. cable channels being scrambled, and I remember it was very popular. Like in the 90s, people would go. Um, I had friends that would go to an apartment complex, and they knew, I guess, because you have to wire like a whole set of apartments with cable or whatever, and they had these little. Uh, boxes that would descramble everything and you could unscrew them and take them home and screw them into your cable and it would make oh. you give you all the channels and they would steal cable basically and all this stuff and you could get all those like what and there were a bunch of channels i feel like that weren't really porn but they were like super soft core like late night yeah skin of, <laughs> skin of max. So yeah yeah people call it skin max and stuff um i, I don't know it's man what game of thrones is now yeah yeah i i don't I, that that's pretty much then, all but, hbo but is we now, also we, me and jason talked about having that one friend that was always like their parent always had like a stash of too much porn. Mm. Like looking back on it now, you're like, that was too much. That was a closet (laughs) with a box filled with like 86 Playboy magazines. That's too much. I worked at, I worked at um, a video store and the one, like we lived the area that I lived in, that store had a, a porno section. It was like in the back and there would be guys that would be in there taking just a little too long back there. Yeah. And you'd kind of be like, excuse me, sir, can, can you get out? <laughs> uh, I just would put the magazines on top and act like I couldn't scan them and be like, hold on, I got a price check. Well, this. but some guys would come out with like 20 videos. Oof. Like, like that's all they had for the weekend. Yeah. It's like, you- 
Yeah, you got to bring those back in 24 hours. He's like, oh, I will. (laughs) (laughs) What? We've had couples come in before, though. I mean, you know, hey. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about couples porn? Like couples watching porn? I don't think. I know that's awkward because you guys technically are a couple, so I'm (laughs) I'm not trying to put you on the spot. But no, no, a lot of couples. I don't feel like we should yuck any yums here. A lot. That's (laughs) we don't yuck any yums. There's no judgment ever. That's a big thing. Is you don't get judged for if you're if something turns you on, you can't help it, and you don't get judged. Sometimes, sometimes you just need a little extra spark, though. Well, from what I hear, I've heard a lot of. of, I've talked to a lot of couples that were sort of like. (laughs) A lot of couples find that they're extremely compatible. uh, Just in, in mm-hmm. everyday life and then things get in the bedroom and it can get a little awkward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't have to, but it might. And that's the point at which people either get real weird about things and they have shame and it, which is just a doesn't, that doesn't help anybody. You got to communicate. Yeah. And so the couples that do communicate well, will say, well, what do you like? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. And then, so a lot of couples wind up sitting down together to try and watch porn together. And then they have this awkward moment where they go, well, should we try what this? kind of stuff do you like? And they <laughs> yeah. go, I don't know. What kind of stuff do you like? I don't want to be the first one to pick. And they have this like weird standoff because they're afraid to reveal to, you know, one of their the other. kinks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, what, what do you guys think? What, you guys think you should keep that shit bottled up? No. What, what if, if you, uh, ha- if you have to feel like you keep any part of your, your couple life, sex life, your emotional life, whatever part of your life, if you feel like you have to bottle any of that up, that's not a healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. In Definitely my not. But what if you're super into the person and you're afraid that they're going to judge you? Like if, what if you have something really weird? Like you're into like birds or something like you, like you're like, Hey, I really need for us to get a parrot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Like, but this isn't going to work for me. And they go, I, I mean, parrots are okay, but I, no, I really, no, you don't understand. I need it to watch. I need, <laughs> yeah. First off, I think you need a therapist, not a parrot. Well, but that's what I'm saying. What, what if you're afraid they're going to say that, right, move you know, to and the you're level. just like, I feel like if you have a partner, that's going to be like, you know, like that. They're like, yeah. fuck yeah, you let's know. do it. I'm dressing up like a like, pirate right now. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on my shoulder. Let's go. Oh my no, gosh. but I feel like if, I feel like if you have a partner that's Caribbean. gonna be like, you know, you need a therapist or you know, you need help. You know, I, f- I feel like that's not a very supportive. Not person. saying you no. don't need no, help. No, 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 not no. Right, right. But I think you should say, I'm not well, saying let, it like that. Like, let's try it. And if I don't like it, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, so that's fair. That's fair. Or maybe like try to unpack it. Of like, okay, what? Like, why do you think yes. you're attracted to birds? Like, have a conversation. Wait, are we talking know, about an attraction to birds or just having birds? a pet bird? Well, see, that's the thing. You don't or know. What if, what if they were to say? What <laughs> if they were to say? Beak. What if? What <laughs> if they were to say? <laughs> really, like them, really like them talons. I'm not attracted to the bird. I'm attracted to you, but I can't get off unless the bird is here, in the room. See that that's there's and, something there that and then you might <laughs> yeah. and then you might go well okay fuck it put the bird over there let you know what let's, let's see. but then right, he, let's see what but happens. then you find out the bird talks a lot and the bird mimics all the sounds that you might happen. Why to do I feel like this Incredible. is a real life situation? And then you have I guests. Love, and like, then you have, these. Oh my god! Then you have guests over, and guests come over, and the birds like mimicking those sounds. The bird like, says what you said. You know, yeah. like oh, put the hairbrush up my ass. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want a cracker. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on from this topic very where guys, quickly. Where did you guys get Why this? do I feel like this whole episode is just Spencer <coughs> wanting to tell people what he actually wants? Oh, I wish it was that simple. I wish it, I wish all I had to do was buy a bird and then I could trust people again. But um, fucking, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, feel I me? get you. I feel get me? you. Yeah, I'd have a whole shitload of parrots. Yeah. But uh, but honestly, that's a, before, that would be pretty. That's almost a funny sitcom right there. Like the bird starts saying things, you know, like sounds like an episode of Seinfeld. Ah, dress up Probably. like a football player. Yeah, like George gets a bird and it's just like, you know, ah, you're right. Jerry is hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. and he starts screaming. I was in the pool. Oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> so fry pan, you, you went on a date with a racist. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great yes, segue. Let's go because there was no segue. <laughs> You just slammed on the brakes and turned down the street. We're in some fucking part of town now. We don't even know. I'm using, I'm using Apple Maps. It didn't tell me when to turn. It doesn't know shit. Let's go. Frank Bill, let's hear about he your... He wasn't... I don't... I don't... I don't... Listen, I'm not going to name any person. names. No, no, no. We're not going to name names. We're not going to talk uh, do about... Do we know this person? No. I know most know of the people person. in the world listen to this podcast, but they might not hear. Yeah. <clears throat> no, no, no. But he, he... I don't think he was a racist. I just don't think he thought through what he was saying. Because we were at this date. I'm not going to tell you where we were, but we were out getting drinks during Corona. It was just a weird what time. What you told me, it sounds like um, you were at a Chinese restaurant. No, it was not a Chinese restaurant. Oh, okay. We were talking about Mulan, the upcoming movie Mulan. He was like, I'm really excited because it's one of my favorite Disney movies. But he was like, I'm really disappointed because they're not doing in the live action like the original soundtrack. And I was like, oh, why do you think that could be? Just, you know, trying to probe conversation. And he goes, well, it's because Asian people can't sing, I think. And I was like... <laughs> 
I was like, wait. So he, he's not well, watched any. No, no, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. So I was like, wait a second. So, so what do you mean Asian people can't sing? He's like, well, I just don't think they're very good. And I was like, have you heard an Asian person sing? And he was like, well, I was like, okay. So who are you getting this information from that Asian people can't sing? And he was like, well, I've talked to some people about it. I was like, oh, so this is your opinion. This is not fact. And he was like, also, what kind of conversation? I've like, talked to some people. How many? How, like, two what kind people? of conversations are you having? Was, yeah. Was, no, he brought it up with his grandfather. Like, he was like, what? back in the war. They couldn't sing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Asians and singing. But no, that, I mean that was pretty much it. But then the entire rest of the date totally not had anything to do with race or anything. But he talked about his um, roommate was his cousin and his cousin's girlfriend and how he was just bitching about them the entire time. And I was like, this is a great day. Glad That's, we only made it two hours. Great. Fuck. He picked me up though, so he had to take me home. Oh. And then and then he texted me afterwards and he was like, hey, so I had a really good time. You want to go for a date number two? And I was like, I was not feeling it. I'm sorry, guy. Hey, good for you for shooting straight, though. Listen, yeah. though, I've been shooting straight, and <laughs> these fuckers out here do not appreciate it. Let me tell you. <laughs> also, I, I would love to point out, Fry Pan <laughs> likes to complain to me and Jason about her dates, which is great, <laughs> but she really likes to cup us, like, like pull us all in together, and like, she's like, like the you, boys boys, you in the, boys in the South just suck, and me and I Jason I think you're like, just mad about that one tweet that I made that had nothing to do with either of you, and you took that to heart, and, and I don't Jason know why. Did, yeah, I don't offensive. understand it. Because you said we all sound like redneck country singers. But was I trying to pursue either of you romantically? <laughs> no. But, okay, then but it had also, nothing to do with you. But we grew up in the South, and that's, you just, that's said, not what we are. You should have said, well, I'll tell you what, if you think I sound like that, I'll put a boot in your ass. <laughs> it's the American way. My God. I love this bar. God. Damn. Oh, my God. If you're a little offended by it, then it may apply. I mean, it could. I could have been I could have been projecting my defenses. You know, Wait, things. tell me the statement. I'll see if I'm offended by it. It was something like, like I was on these dating apps, and all these guys were like, I love beer. I love God. I love America. And they had all these pictures of them holding fish. In oh, my pictures. gosh. And the I fish was pictures. Like, I swear. I was like, and she was like, all men suck. I and I was like, I don't that fish. That is not what I said. That is not all what I said. So if you're taking it that way, I'm, I'm here. Not. I'm just, look how mad you're getting. It's so much fun. I enjoy this. That really this. is. Okay, that really is dating apps, though. Thank you. Of like, there's... It's like your, four it's versions. Your, There's either the partier where every picture is a red solo cup. It's a red There's, solo cup or you with like a group of hot chicks, yes. which is not a turn on. There's a fish or a dead turkey. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or There's, dead something. There's a truck. <laughs> There's a truck. The trucks. The trucks. <sighs> Or there's... Wait, isn't, isn't two and three kind of the same? Kind of. The truck and the no, fish? No, 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 they no, no. They can be, but oh. not always. Okay, go on. They can, this is fascinating. They're just different. If I, ever then, do get, if I ever go on dating apps, I'll be sure not to do any of these things. And then there's the ones where there's, it's like not even a picture. Like it's like blank. It's like half of your face. Yeah. It's half of your face. It's no picture. No and then picture. the entire like rest of it is no pictures. And then it says, you yeah. want me to call you daddy <laughs> with no picture. <laughs> I don't understand that. That sounds like the most honest one. Yeah. That one, th- that guy just goes straight for, I want to pull your hair. <laughs> no, it's not even that. It's, it's like, it's that. like, I'm but, your daddy. It's like, but you're not. Though. But also, no, like, I may kidnap you. Yeah, I and you'll may call me daddy you. if I kidnap you. Know what you. I think I've I've gathered from this is that me and you aren't on dating apps, and these people are. So I don't think she's talking about those us. people. Oh, I'm not. Those people but. are getting dates. They're dating. Those people are dating. I don't think they're I'm doing not, it great though. I'm not doing it great though. <laughs> I mean, I feel like those dudes end up on Tinder under <laughs> cringe. Did, did he at least pay for your drink, um, Asian racist guy? Yes, I think I offered to pay though. I always offer to pay yeah. because I always pay for my half. Like, I think it's the appropriate thing to do. I'll pay for my half. Um, and then I ended up getting food. No, I Venmoed him like 10 bucks because I don't remember. Something happened. And then I kind of felt bad for not. Because I knew, like, not even halfway through the day. I knew in the car on the way there that I didn't want a second date. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. And then we went up. But, like, Whoa. We still had some, like, well, we didn't even have decent conversation because he talked the entire time. But I like felt bad that I knew I didn't want a second date, and I was like, I can give you ten bucks. Well, I didn't say I yeah. give you ten bucks, but like I'll pay for like my half. Where is this fucking monster that could get a word in edgewise with you, dude? I wow, I talk a lot. That's what I'm <laughs> saying, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Trust me. I will say also the the you've friendship. been compared to me, and I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, fucking problem. Like when we met, we you were basically told, "Oh, you're almost as bad as this guy." That's true. <laughs> Shit. When this I met, when I met, who is, both this, of guy? You who is this guy? Who is this narcissist? Joker. I was like, "Good lord!" It's like it's like an unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. It's just gonna, they're gonna keep talking to one of them passes out. <laughs> I'm the force. You're the object. You can be the force. 
I love being the force. But I will like to point out, because Jason would get mad at me if I don't say this, one aspect of our triangle friendship that we have here is we love to team up on one person, like on one day, and just poke that person until they get super mad. That is true. And it's usually, it's usually me... Just because but, I react, I react best. But, and Frying Pan just shuts down and doesn't talk to us for two months. So, it's <laughs> <laughs> so like you're not which wrong. Is, which is why I didn't know about this situation right <laughs> she here. She didn't say shit. She just smiled. Oh, no. yeah, she literally, like me and Jason I went back and forth and she was like, I'm done. And then two months later, Jason texted me and went, Do you think she's alive? And I was like, She'll be fine. She'll come around when I she's was, ready. Yeah, I was fine. I was just mad. And I was like, Fuck this. I don't feel like talking to you. Oh man! So so to to take it to to kind of to direct. Sorry about your date, by the way. That, oh, it's that, fine. It was um, fine. Uh, to kind of take everything. Have you got a lot of crazy shit has happened in the world? Uh, I I've been tuning it out. Like I did my big I, again. I don't know if you. I did a big episode recently where I was like, I'm not going to talk about politics anymore. Everybody knows where I stand. People aren't mature enough to to hear an idea without reacting to it like crazy, and it's causing people I know to fight with each other every time I make a post mm-hmm. about uh, By the way, I having back. a female president or Joe Jorgensen or blah, 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 or how the both parties are fucking <laughs> you over and you don't even know it. Well, whatever. Um, I'm just going to quit. But, and I've tried to dial out a lot of that stuff, but people are fighting again. Bad now. There have been a well, couple yeah, cause, shootings. Cause elections are coming out. <laughs> it's getting terrible, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to get worse, too. It's getting so, so, so bad. I'm going to be sh- I'm going to be really interested to see what happens after the elections and who actually gets into office because... Or what the world's going to look like that or, very next day. Or who won't leave office. Who will just stay there. I don't want either like, of them. Nope. But we're not going to get into that. Yeah, I mean, I don't want either of them either because they're the same thing. They're yeah, just they're just... Th- yeah. They both like I, I I mean I did make a little post on Instagram yesterday where I talked about it was just a little story thing where I talked about how both you know the, the Obamas and Trump and the Bidens and the the Clintons and everybody been propping up the military industrial complex nobody's talking about ending the wars nobody's talking about funneling six trillion dollars to Afghanistan um and, and it didn't get too bad of a reaction I'm like both sides have guns it feels like gangs in New York. You're going to have something like this happen. Like you're just giving people more. What do you guys think? More reasons to fight is what I see. A hundred percent. Just go home. I don't go out anymore because like, I don't feel like also there's a pandemic still just for the record. There's still a pandemic going on and everybody all over each other in the streets. Like, like, okay, let's, let's say right now in this climate, if there were not a pandemic, but there's still, you know, protests going on, there's still political, this political bullshit that's going on with all the shooting and the whatnots. I still wouldn't feel super safe going out just because, (coughs) of how everybody's feeling politically and tribally, you know, you're saying you nailed it right there. It's it's extreme tribalism is what it is. And it's destroying everything that America was built upon, which is why we're not supposed to have two parties in my opinion. Now I've whatever I've heard that there's been arguments as to why two parties is great. But the problem is, is now you have two senile old men who are running for office who don't want to progress necessarily. Now, you know, don't come at me with your Bidens being very progressive, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't care. You know, these people in this room are not trying to shit on anybody for your opinion. It's just a matter of taking a look at it at a different perspective, you know, looking at it instead of looking at it as, you know, I need to vote Republican or I need to vote Democratic. How about, you know, we maybe sort of upgrade the system to maybe something that involves everybody else versus these people who are trying to go at each other's necks literally every single day. Yeah, and if I feel like if they could just hear somebody like George Organ Joe Jorgensen just speak. Uh they interviewed her recently, uh Ben Shapiro interviewed her and she's been interviewed a couple times, but it's hard to find clips of her actually talking about their policy. I wonder why that is. Wait, well no shit. <laughs> but a lot of people would probably go, Oh wait, that is how I feel. Yeah. I do feel like that we shouldn't be in wars. I do feel like we should be able to make our own decisions, marry whoever we want. <laughs> Maybe uh, be a little bit more humanitarian versus Yeah, we should help people, selfish. but not because the government comes up with a shady plan to help right. people, but well, actually the way we choose to yes. help people. Yeah. Anyway. I'm pretty sure, oh, I can't remember if I brought this up on a you, I mean, podcast want, or not, but I believe I talked about how we're breeding a society of incredibly impatient people who yes. refuse to take in information and they just want to act. Yes. Yeah. But not even act. They just want to spew well, their own. Act blindly. Yes. Act blindly, speak blindly. Conform to the yeah. ideology of the masses so they're not the ones that are being ousted on Twitter. Right. 
and we're fighting in the streets while all the bankers and all the corruption, all these people just run off into the sunset yeah. laughing at us. I feel like I talked about this You've before. You've 100% talked about it probably yeah. four times. <laughs> well, I feel like it, it gives people an excuse to just be angry and to yeah. lash out when they don't really know what they're standing for. And they people, don't know what to and do. And people like just, I mean, like when the looting was happening and like some of it was for reform and some of it wasn't, like people just like breaking shit. Like they just do. <laughs> yeah. And so they were like, oh, sweet. This is a way I can get away yeah. with this. So I'm just right. going to go do it. Right. And like we'll make jokes. I mean, Casey makes jokes about people walking into the <laughs> river and never coming back. I mean. <laughs> but <laughs> And that's why we love him. I'm an agent of chaos. <laughs> but the idea of like wishing harm on someone, I'm like, then how does that make you different? Damn right. Well, like, if well you said. aren't supporting someone, that's one thing, but... But it just makes me feel like there's well, something now, else going on. But, you know? I, but I feel like it's also gotten to a point where people are now... It doesn't matter who you are. I think it's your affiliation to the person that you don't like. And that's giving mm-hmm. a reason to shit on somebody. Elaborate on that. Um, so... I guess nowadays it's kind of like, oh, well, I have a friend, you know, who's a Trump supporter. And it's like, you have a friend who's a Trump supporter? So you support Trump. No, I don't. But I have a friend who does. Okay, well, I don't want to talk to you or him or ever. Yeah. And it's kind of the same thing, you know, with talking about the wife, you know. For me, the the useful part of that statement ended at, I have a friend. (laughs) Seriously. Like, I have a friend and like, great. So it shouldn't, you know, maybe they like, maybe they have to have a parent in the room without having sex. But (laughs) fucking, he's still your friend, you know, like. Anyway, go, you see what I mean? But yes, it should be one of those things where you're, where it's like, you know, a lot of people will, will come out and say, you know, I don't care what you think or believe or, or who you affiliate, your, affiliate yourself with. Um, but I think now nowadays we're getting to a point where if you affiliate, affiliate yourself with certain people, people are going to look at you a certain way. Because yeah. what I see is an incredible uh, movement to divide people yeah, and to dispose of unity. And to me, that's extremely fucking suspicious. That's Especially when we are the United <coughs> States yeah. of America. Yeah. We're not united. We haven't been united, honestly. Exactly. In a long time. So At least I haven't seen it. I'm skeptical of anything that's, that, that seeks to divide people, even over their ideologies and their philosophies and right. stuff like that. Um, all the true ideologies and that I've ever seen that were worth a shit did not do that. Uh, what happens next is uh, a... I don't want to say it. Because say it. Every, no, because everybody already thinks I'm, an, say I'm an insane person. Say it. No, we I mean, to Mars? We're, no. We're, no, we're being divided, and there's going to be another civil war that happens. Yeah. It's going to happen. And that's what that's what oh. they want. And when I say they, you know who it's I mean. It's the capital they. Well, yeah, yeah, it's the capital they. That's what they want, because the more we're divided, Ooh. the less we're paying attention to them. Yeah. And I do believe that too. I hundred percent believe that. That maybe I know any, everyone thinks I'm insane. That I I picture insane. a bunch of old, and it doesn't even matter what race they are. It's just a bunch of old fucks in a mahogany room with a big fireplace. They're all drinking the blood of the young, smoking <laughs> cigars made out of like the, the finest hemp, and they're just like, we can do whatever the fuck we want. I mean, think about this: Disney owns Fox News and CNN. And they're the most divisive two media outlets that you can find. But they're owned by the same fucking company. So why is Hamilton not playing on Fox all the time? Fox News? I don't That's know. We would get a lot people would get a lot That's more information question. if they watched Hamilton on Fox News. It's true. True. But they would be like, no, rapping? No. I'm gonna go back to CNN. Damn. Well, so that's so the wait. The question again. is circling back a oh, hot minute. <laughs> so, if you have a parrot that likes to watch you have sex, does that actually mean that the government is watching you have sex? Because birds, birds aren't, aren't real? real. Hey, do you, can you imagine if you had sex with a bird that only said Trump tweets? And wait, you, you wait, were dating hold on. somebody. Your statement started with you have sex with a bird. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my, my apologies. With you have sex and a bird's watching, but only says no, Trump tweets. No, let's go back. No. Nope. <laughs> And then that bird has an egg, and, yeah. it, <laughs> and in that egg is, is a Donald, Trump tweet. A Trump tweet. Oh, can you imagine if the bird was pushy about it? Like, hey, sex, do it. I want to watch. <laughs> like, clasp its wings. Like, hey, like come on, grab, do her, it. grab her by the pussy situation. Zing. <laughs> grab, her, grab her by the beak. Oh, bird. Oh God. Let, <laughs> let's try to let's try to at least take this out on a good note. Why don't we let uh, any media? Bird anything in the media? Uh, Lovecraft Country. 
episode, I, episode two. I haven't saw the Wait second. a second. It oh. fucked me up. Is that on oh, HBO? Yeah. yeah. Okay, because I need to see that. Also, um, I just got a new phone and I have a um Apple Apple TV. I got the 11 Pro Max <gasps> nice. in gold, nice. 250 text gig. Because oh my gosh, I got, I, the gr- I got the green. I That's nice. I know. I almost got the green. Anyways, so I got a free Apple TV subscription that I have Ooh. yet to apply for. Yeah, and it. and what's the one Jennifer Aniston that I keep seeing? The morning, morning show. Morning show. I want to see that. So bad. It's really good. Is it good? But you need it's to watch Servant, Servant as well. You need to watch Servant. Servant? Okay. It's one about so the fake good. baby with oh, M. Night so Shyamalan. Good. Really Not good. Seen. Well, there's another one on <clears throat> Apple TV too that I really want to see and I don't. Mythic Quest. No. No, you definitely need to watch Mythic Okay, Quest. but that's not what I was talking about. No, things. but it's definitely Mythic Quest. Okay, but that's not what I was and talking about. And then Jason about. Momoa has one called C. And I then there's him. Defending Jacob with Chris Evans. I did see the Bill and Ted movie. Oh, is did it you? good? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not the greatest thing ever. It's but fan service. Seen the it's pretty good. One. It's fan service, but it's 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 better than the second one, and pr- it's probably better than the first one too. It's is I, it better I, than Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Uh, highly. Okay. Good. Extremely. Yeah. It, no. It's it's really really good, and they they have kids in this one, and like they have a robot. The robot's really funny, <laughs> and the robot's name is Dennis. Um, Dennis McCoy actually, oh and uh, no, it's it's worth it's worth checking out. It's now, worth checking out. Well, we were talking about, and you two need to watch. It's on Hulu called Alone. Mm-hmm. Survival, survival show from History mm-hmm. Channel mm-hmm. where 10 people are selected to go. The one we're on there in Patagonia, they're in Patagonia, yeah, South America, and they're all isolated, they're like eight miles apart, yeah. And they have to survive for 300 days. They can take 10 items, so it's like one guy has like a shovel and yeah. like a bow and arrow and yeah. like sleeping bag and stuff. Wait, but, so if they're eight miles apart, do they meet up with each other? No. No, they're not supposed to, they're not like supposed to Do they get together other. and have a rap battle? No. They literally just have... But they can be there, it's miles, up to 300 days eight mile, that they're alone. And the winner gets $500,000? I've never seen yes. eight mile. Eight mile apart. Eight mile. <laughs> Sorry. I, I mean, that, you keep... Hunter's I not it, here. I wanted that to land so bad. But Hunter, Hunter's not here. <laughs> so what does each person have? Like a camera crew with them and they follow no, they have their own camera. They're, they're, they're completely five, alone. Ooh, completely alone. Okay. But we're... We're like judging these people. We're like sitting... On their survival We're like skills? sitting... The other night we watched it and I was like, you want to go get a cookout milkshake? <laughs> so we have, we're sitting there eating a cookout milkshake watching these people being like, you idiot, don't throw the knife like that. <laughs> like, like, like one guy... Like quit. watching these people trying to hunt for their food while we're eating cookout yeah, milkshake. You're like, yeah. these people are stupid as shit. Let's order a you pizza. kidding me. <laughs> like one guy quit after three days. We were like, and you we were idiot. like, we were like, you three punk days. ass bitch. I can Wait, last more ha- than three days. They have to days. survive for how long? Three hundred up to three hundred. It's until like one person is left up to three. Yeah, people days. can quit whenever they want. They just call and us they don't know phone. when other people are quitting, so they think like everyone's still in it. Last one standing gets five hundred thousand dollars. Dude, I would never be on that show. I had a dream last night that the zombie apocalypse was happening because of the COVID nineteen vaccine. And you're just like, bite me. Just get it. Was get over. not a good time. It was no, not a good not time. A fun dream. Nope. Wow. Ooh, we finished Haunting of Hill House. Oh yeah. How'd you like? What'd you think at the did end? You just now finished it. Did you cry? She. I it messed me up. Her. It messed me up real bad. Yeah. Like with fear or emotions, uh, or both. Fear of emotions. Me. Both. Both. I mean, like I was. I liked it. It was really great. But I had dreams for a couple nights, especially the yeah. bent neck lady Stop. episode. No, that one was, I mean, like, that Have one was scary. No, I've seen it. Okay. That one was scary, no, but I'm not going to lie. The bowler hat guy just really yeah, got the me. Really I don't know why. The floating and, like, I, agree. I don't know what it was. I agree. Um, I, Man, I thought, I'm excited for Bly Manor. Yeah. Super excited. Really I don't know good. what it's going to be it's like. It's going to take place it in the 80s. It's really good. Okay. I, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to keep watching uh, uh, fucking uh, Lovecraft Country. Uh, I won't talk too much about it, but, like, it's the second episode was very different from the first. and really? it, And it still kind of gave me, like, a like a shit what's going on in this kind of a thing. It's pretty, it, I mean, it's, it's worth looking forward to every single week when it comes out. And, uh, I am stoked as fuck for, I'm thinking of ending things. I still have to read it. Friday. It's like, is it Friday? You got a week. Friday. It, it really goes down in a day. You'll read it in a day. Oh yeah. You'll read it if first. you get the book, you probably go to, to books a million to get it and read it in the day. You'll read okay. it in one night, but I'm excited for that to like come out. There's a lot of good stuff on the horizon. Uh, I, I, we maybe have we <laughs> talked about on the podcast that, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Coheed and Cambria did a sequel to Jesse's girl with Rick Springfield. Oh, so Didn't good. that just oh. happen this week? Yeah. Like it's very recent and it's hilarious too. It's I amazing. It the video, if you go to, it's Jesse's girl too. <laughs> real obvious name there. And, uh, Rick Springfield's in the video 
as a bartender and it's kind of a twist like she turns out to be like a real psycho and bad and she's like doing all these terrible things to these guys like she walks by one guy and picks his he's at a table with his girlfriend and she like grabs his cell phone goes in the bathroom takes a bunch of pictures and puts it back on the table and the girl finds it gets mad at him and she's just causing all kinds of havoc I love her already Springfield at the <laughs> bar like clean it you know watch girl her all power like us. <laughs> No, nah, she's messing with lives. That's kind of messed up. But and the song that. is the song is is fucking phenomenal. It's just as it's it's it, it, sonically it sounds like the original Jesse's Girl, but with like a lot of updates. And Springfield even sings the last verse in the song. It's fantastic. That's awesome. That's the highlight of twenty twenty for me. Probably the only thing Frying Pan knows is her house, her cat, and Apex sucks. Still, <laughs> I'm s- oh new season not, not ha- going not great. Really? Yep. It's like playing. It's like playing. It's like playing scrims every day. It's garbage. Oh. On pubs, I'm playing pubs. It's like playing. I'm. It's like I'm playing platinum ranked every day. <laughs> no idea what the. Fuck it's saying. not a fun time. I barely. Do. I'm playing pubs on scrims. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not a good time. I'm actually also playing. Like I I can't play anymore unless I play with like my friends because yeah. if I play with a bunch of random people, it's like they're playing solos. So they just need to make oh. a. They just need to make a solo platform yeah. that I can just. <clears throat> yeah, you don't have to worry about other people. Spencer, do you understand all this young, fangled new <laughs> lingo? I know it's gaming lingo. It's like Pong, you old but men. Battle Royale. Shut the fuck up. Old men. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. There actually is a Tetris Battle Royale I think you'd like. Oh. What? There's a Tetris 99. You compete with other people to complete your board quicker. That's we should cool. have a game night. <gasps> we should. We should. Can, we can, can you leave your house enough to do this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. We have the same name, Frying Pan, which means we're the same person. <laughs> it's a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> hey, that means we're dating, though. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, Savannah. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Savannah. Well, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Does this get too weird for you? No, no. It's just we're out of time. No, we're oh. missing a bird. Yeah, that's true. You guys stay here, get to know each other a little better. Pop, we'll go I, find the bird. Fucking pop filter is <laughs> loose now and doesn't work. I hate you. It's okay, pumpkin. It's okay. This headphone's hurting my ear really bad, and I don't know why. Well, folks, we're going to sign off. Beacon House is coming at you again. Please try to be good to each other and everyone else. Check out some good shows. Drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. Birds Do you, aren't real. Birds aren't real. Uh, what else? Uh, R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. R.I.P. R- R- Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. How, what, we didn't actually talk about shout it. Shout out to that guy that struggled that many years with 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 cancer Four and, nobody, years, and kept it a dude. secret. Nobody even knew. Nobody Four knew. years. And it's what crazy. what a fucking champ. Like Jeez. yeah, man, I mean everybody's going to miss him again. 2020 just piling up the fucking disappointments. I'm going to go home and cry now. Someone protect Betty White. <gasps> and Morgan Freeman. Don't Freeman. Say no. It. Don't oh you God. dare say Betty White. <laughs> don't you don't dare say, say Betty say White. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my.